Yo, what is good, my anime people? I apologize for the background noise, my anime people. But, um, <sighs> Skull Knight is actually ridiculously hype. And at this point, I think I'm going to maybe reveal myself when he reveals himself. And hopefully this anime doesn't take a long amount of time if it's not in this first season. But I think that would be a pretty, <laughs> a pretty funny thing. Uh, it's you know he comes out and actually shows people who he is, and that's kind of what I do too in the epi same episode, which would be I'm I'm just enjoying it. I'm a huge Overlord fan, and to me this feels like if the Overlord character stayed as the armored knight and just lived his life like that, right? He couldn't show himself and all this stuff, but he was still the most helpful person ever. And he continues to do so, right? Um, I think that would be a really cool uh, way of just looking at it. But at the same time, I want to take my mind out of Overlord and just see what this show has to offer. Because I'm really appreciating the attention to the small details, being the smaller villagers, the smaller people. And already, um, thanks to a kill, he's already gotten himself in a position where... He has to deal with something pretty crazy uh, with the government, you know, losing like 15 people or like 18 people were injured, you know. He goes in there, protects a little girl that can't defend herself and kills it in one blow. So these are the types of things you're going to need in this world, clearly, because these ankle bracelets that were on these monsters clearly were making them go berserk and doing things that even they wouldn't do necessarily taking them to a place that they wouldn't be right they were both in locations that sim were similar to each other with the bands seeing how the army guys could walk over to the next location <clears throat> so i think both bands coming off is actually the real threat of everything like once these two bands are gone you're gonna have to deal with what comes next oh hopefully this noise is gone for a little bit but yeah awesome awesome stuff i think we're really going to be blessed by this anime like a lot of other ones that are coming out already and i think you know shield hero is just kind of kind of ramping up a little bit you know they're about to fight a turtle that can in, uh, wipe out an entire nation overall i think this anime has some really good comedy stuff but at the same time this episode felt more paced to the story at hand getting us the girl's backstory doing her quest keeping us in line with the quest throughout the whole thing, not skipping anything, and then throwing us straight into the fray of this battle and showing us how strong our character is because one of him is the equivalent of all these soldiers that needed to help in on fighting, and no one died on his team, <laughs> you know? Like, sure, there's no one to die besides him and the little girl, but that's my point. He's so strong, he fought the same monster that these people had trouble with, and he is showing them that there's someone out there who can just do this with the wave of a sword. Uh, he did say it was his most powerful spell, which is kind of unsettling, just in case there's stuff out there that's way stronger than that, seeing how there's, that thing was controlled, and he felt like he needed to use the strongest spell. You kind of weigh those two things, that means there's someone that probably needs to get hit by a strong spell plus some backup, <laughs> right? So, with all that being said, though, guys, I hope y'all are having an amazing day, night, evening. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I'll definitely be talking to you more about this anime. Absolutely fire.